Okay, what's kind of job? That would be quite cool. Should I write the so we started working on the EP in spring last year. We were down at our studio most days working on new songs and coming up with new sounds for the EP. I used to do that during the chorus and then at the solo bit, that's when you get me more, bit more regular. This once we had recorded the demos and we played the songs live in our rehearsal space, it was then time to start the lyrics. The first time we'd ever met Ian was when he came up to our studio in Edinburgh. We had talked to him online and we were massive fans of his work and instantly we knew we were going to get on with him. After playing the full EP to Ian, we then went through each song bit by bit, making sure that they were finished and up to her standards. It was really cool working with such a professional and getting their opinion on the songs. And then it was time to go to London to start recording. You know, he's just like so like... Oh! <laughs> oh God. It was pretty surreal to turn up to Narcissus Studios. It's a place where some of our favourite artists have recorded our favourite albums and inspired the band. Recording in London has always been on our bucket list, so it was pretty cool to tick that off. We then got to work recording the EP. At this point, we were all in cloud nine. We were getting to hear some of our favorite songs that we spent so long working on in an amazing studio in London. In the EP, we had a very, very busy festival season. 
It was nice to get a break from the studio, but we also couldn't wait to go back. We then went back down to London to finish the EP. To say thank you to Ian, we gave him a personalised last <laughs> He played such a massive role in this EP and he truly allowed us to be ourselves and find ourselves. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever be able to thank him enough for that. Once the EP was finished, it was then time to shoot the artwork and to shoot all the promo photos. Shout out to Rory Barnes as well for being so amazing. Uh, 
I think bridge. Bridge? Yeah, yeah. Because it poke. Yeah, no, I agree. I think that's yeah. cool. That is cool, and that is kind of what. <laughs> so. Try to the kick drum pattern as well. So boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Vocally and breath wise, it works better. I could be wrong. I'm not against that because then we could just use some of last night as double. Because it's like, ah. I like the board that, like, it's more it's in control, like, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. I'm just... Do you know what food you want? I think they're wanting Thai food, so would you be okay with that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's really good, but. Set sensations. Only for that, though. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's rough, but let's do it. That's such a good way to spread the song. The BGs are running into that now yeah. as well, aren't they? That, like, that's really cool. So, I remember when the lights turned back on, but not. Yeah, we were recording vocals, and I was in the middle, and the lights were off. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the lights just came on. Really? The ghost. I see the ghost. Oh, really? Oh. Uh, honestly, I love how accurate that is. <laughs> it's so true, man. <laughs> Honestly. Would you want to do these kind of stands? Uh, to be Leave that to me. So the drop is a back. 